In this video, I introduce you to my friends from Scotland, and then we head out for a little bit of beach time. And then it's an early morning departure as we leave Punta Cana and sail through a little bit of stormy weather. We sail up around the Cape and to one of my favorite spots in the Dominican Republic, Samana. All right, now we are headed to this little nature preserve. It's kind of like a cenote where they have this freshwater serving and swimming. And then you can say hello to my friends, Brian and Donna from Scotland. You. Yeah. Say hello, I've known Brian 30 years now? Yep. There's something like that. So they're on here on holiday, so we're excited to meet up. We walked out to the parking lot and hailed a random taxi, which in hindsight was not a great idea. The driver was plenty of fun, but we had problems with him later. Well, that was a cluster. Uh, so he thought he knew where we were going. We got lost, he asked for directions, he took us to the wrong place. So then we're like, no, just bring us back. And then he tries to charge us for going there and back. And, and more, because he said 30, and then yeah. he said 80, which is 80. Yeah, so, like, yeah. Yeah, he said we didn't like the trip, that's why we were back. And then like, no, it's just because we never got where we were supposed to get. Yeah. That was very confusing, but at least yeah. we had fun. So he, he was arguing with us and all that, like, okay, yeah. whatever. So we headed back to the boat and made a beach day out of it. Yeah, the sun is not quite up yet. It's getting there. We've been up for about 20 minutes already, getting the boat ready to go. Check the oil's got the generator running. Now we are waiting on the Navy. The Navy has to actually come check us out, uh, which is annoying. They give us a dispatch to go. They, they come yeah. here and like. Yeah, they give us here and they write us a dispatch to go to the other place. It, in my opinion, that's kind of hurt. It hurts Dominican on their cruising. It's because like everywhere you got to go, you got to check in and out. It's, a little, it's just a little time consuming and difficult. Yeah, well, you can't leave when you want to. Like I wanted to leave like early or a couple no, we hours. Left, we would have left at like four. Yeah, but we now have to wait on them anyway. And then you got to pay fees everywhere you go and all that. So, you know, I mean, it kind of hurts because not many people cruise down here. So I think that probably hurts them a little bit. So anyway, we're waiting on them. Bucky, you ready? You ready to go? He has no idea what's about to happen. All right, so we've had it installed for a while now, but we're actually, we're actually gonna use the water maker for us. Pretty simple. I just wanna make sure I've got it slipped up to the proper tank and then I'll start her up. All right, so basically I got it in divert and I'm gonna turn her on. Just wanna make sure there's no water bu bubbles running through it before I start it. I just increase the pressure. All right, it says I've already got good water quality, so I will turn her on. All right, just like that, we're filling our water tanks. 37 gallons an hour, so pretty quick. Run this for about three hours, we should be totally full. Well, it's now seven o'clock. The Navy is supposed to be here at 6.30. They have not showed up. It's windier than I was expecting today, so eh. We're just gonna wait till Monday. We have a good weather window Monday. Should be nice. Um, we'll go to Samana, spend all week there. And then next weekend, the weather looks good to go to Porta Plata and then to the bottoms. Guys, it's that time again. I need to talk to you about the sponsor of this video, Manscaped. You've heard me talk about their trimmers plenty of times before. And it's got a light you can turn on so you can see what you're doing. But I'm not really here to talk to you about their groomer here today. When you live on a boat, you tend, your clothes tend to get a little threadbare because uh, you don't do a little lot of shopping. And that includes your boxers. I was literally mentioning to Stephanie the other day, I think I need to get some new boxers because mine are uh, getting a little holy, if you know what I mean, and not in a good way. Just so happened, Manscaped sent me a package with a bunch of their brand new boxer briefs. They have four different models to choose from, uh, all different colors, the gray, the black, you can have their nuggets, whatever. You can do conservative, you can go uh, more a little more stylish, whatever you wanna do. But so I wore these, I've been wearing these now for about a month, and man, am I happy about these, I really am. I used to have a problem with the waistband kind of folding over and pinching and digging into my skin. These don't do that. These are really comfortable. They hug you nice and shapely. I'm not gonna try them on. You don't wanna see me wearing boxers, but they feel really good. I'm wearing some right now, seriously, right there. And they have what they call their jewel pouch. So it's uh, nice and roomy in there for whatever you have to put in there. You can save 20% right now. Go to manscaped.com, use code doodles20 for 20% off. So Manscaped is a sponsor, but I really do use their products. And thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Hi 
at him. <laughs> I mean, slightly. Yes! <laughs> yes! Doing the devil's work himself. Good job, eh? To the beach! To the beach. To the beach. What is it you're looking for? Oh, on my head. <laughs> oh my god! An hour! An hour! Are you really look looking for sunglasses for that long? Oh my god! That's embarrassing. Yeah, I, keep, I keep mine on a string. <laughs> they just did it, but plus they catch my food. I know, so you can snack for later. All right, uh, since we're here for a little longer, let's go to the beach. Let's go to Panijo. Vamos a la playa. Can you help me with my glasses? So we rented a car here at 60 bucks a day and uh, I never signed anything or did anything. So it's uh, the guy just handed me the keys, I handed him 60 bucks cash. It is beautiful. Yay. It looks like they've had a lot of beach erosion lately. Cause like, you know, that palm tree is way out there in the water. And all this kind of eroded away. Maybe a big storm came through and moved it all. It's weird, like sometimes you'll go to a beach and it'll be a beautiful beach, you come back six months later and the beach is gone. When you come back six months later after that, it's back. Imagine that happens with your house though. Yeah. There is a beach walking distance from the marina, but we decided to rent a car and change things up a little and this one was only about 10 minutes away. What exactly is going on over here? Is Bucky, Bucky helping you dig? Come on, Bucky. Actually, dig. He, he was just digging to make uh -huh, his own bed. Come think. on, Bucky, help us. Come on, Bucky. Come on, come on. Work. Sometimes work. he's committed. Other times he quits. Come on, there you go. Work, 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 work for your accommodation. Come on. Take a stand. No more no. digging. We're going to bring the sand back. Yeah, good job. No, no. That's the opposite of what do we That's want to do. That's the opposite of what do we want. All right, all right, yes. You go, you grab that stick. That's important work. Good job. I wish we had like a sailing doodles flag. Yeah, right. That'll last about 10 minutes. And now we finally got our pool. Oh yeah, you're gonna start doing some dancing now? Come here, come here, come here. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hey, 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 hey. Relax, relax, relax. What are you doing? Oh. Uh, All right, what do you think, Bucky? Oh. Oh, yeah. I mean, at least he can swim well, so. He can swim, he just likes to go next door better. Yeah. <laughs> I missed her diving into the water. Sorry about that. So, so what much. happened? I don't I'm know. So just, are you okay? I don't. I, they just made out. <laughs> That's how she reacts. She she bit my lip. Bad breath. You bit her? <laughs> Did you bite her? <laughs> no, my phone smacked was, her in the face. Yeah. I thought you like. I thought you like hit faces or something. Oh, 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 oh no! I'm gonna die. <laughs> This is gonna be a great <laughs> thumbnail. It's <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 I'll give you a chance to hit me and I won't move. Okay. Alright, I'll move. I will record you. <laughs> it was almost over my head though. <laughs> I almost ringed it on your head. <laughs> that would have been amazing. It's a can jam, but human can jam. We had a great day at the beach, but then was back to the boat and one more dinner out in Punta Cana. No, it was not actually my birthday, although the girls told them it was.
this is where uh, Juan Luis Guerra apparently recorded a couple of video clips. Oh, that's why this is so famous. All right, getting moving today. Hopefully the Navy's on time. Uh, it's, you know, blowing 15 out there. It's about what it's supposed to be doing. It's supposed to drop off a little bit as the day goes on, though. So we've got about 13, 14 knots. Plus we're going with it, so it should be a pretty good day for sailing. Headed to Samana about eight hours that way. So I already got the generator started. I'm gonna change over the power and start pulling in the power cord, and then hopefully the Navy will be here in about 20 minutes, and we'll get going. All right, a little rain squall came through, so it delayed us a little bit because we had to wait on the Navy. Then we're gonna come in the rain. So the Navy came, checked set, it took about I don't know, 10 minutes just to take pictures of our passports and stuff. Now I'm starting engines and we're going to get out of here. It was a bit of a rainy morning when we tossed the lines off the dock to head north. We were leaving Punta Cana and heading north and west over to Samana. If we were doing this long turn, I'd put netting around there just to make them feel a little more safe. But since we're not, you know, make us feel safe. yeah, make us feel a little more safe. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He's so tiny, he'll just fall over. Uh, you put netting though, and I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, narrow channel on the way out, but clear skies behind it. You know, like this fresh air after the rain just feels so good. Yeah. It was a little bit rough to start and we were at the tail end of whale season and we were hoping to see some whales. How you guys doing? Doing it for the whales. Here we come. Tired. You see some whales? Ooh. Yeah, we got, unfortunately we have to kind of go into this for about 45 minutes this morning, and then we turn around the island, and hopefully it'll be mostly downwind, down wave at that point. Uh, it'll be a little bit quartering for the, about 20, 30 miles, but once we get out in the bay, it'll be directly behind us. So the last time the crew all had scopalamine, but we only had like six patches, so for three each, we'd be kind of, when do they want them, right? This is kind of shorter sail, only eight hours. So this is the difference between uh, scopalamine and no scopalamine, and they are down for the count, I believe. It's a, I mean, actually, we turned the corner, so now the waves are behind us, so it's a lot better than it was. Um, and it should continue to get better the further we go. I do have to watch out for thunderstorms. Uh, not thunderstorms, squalls. There's no lightning or anything. But, I mean, you know, they can be pretty powerful rainstorms, so I got my radar on. And there's a cell passing in front of us, and then there's another way out there. Basically, I just got to keep an eye out behind me and make sure nothing sneaks up behind me. This is the coastline right here. That's the, you know, it's it's reading the coastline, and then that is a thunderstorm, and then that is a thunderstorm as well. So this ring is eight miles, so the thunderstorm is about three and a half miles ahead of us, and then that one's, you know, more than eight. So now that we're downwind, down waves, much more calm. Uh, the waves are a little bit smaller too now, so it's not too bad. We got about 19 miles to go, so everybody's feeling a little better now. Not nobody's seasick anymore. You know, no, right? I wasn't seasick. I was just. Um... Just like, I just want, whenever I feel kind of in, but also it was like 6 in the morning, I was tired, so I was tired and I didn't really feel well, so I just fell asleep for a couple hours. No, we got two hours to go. I can't wait to get there. Yeah, she's excited because this place, so it's uh, Puerto Bahia, Samana. Um, she's excited because it's got a pool, like an infinity pool that overlooks the ocean. It's got a nice little restaurant there. It's got uh, a spa and a gym, so. Be nice. We're gonna spend the whole week there, I think. So it'd be and nice. There's also a waterfall nearby. Yeah, we'll rent a car and go do that. So. There's some really, actually, there's some really beautiful beaches as well. Yeah. So we'll do some exploring. It'll be fun. The seas inside Samana Bay were much calmer, and we were almost to Samana. I'm throwing grapes on my boat. Not at all that hard. Well, unfortunately, no whales this time. So. I don't know, we got a whale watcher up here, but I don't know. We'll find them, don't worry. The whale is right here. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, hello, hello, Puerto, uh, uh, Puerto Bahia. Uh, it's the dark side. Uh, we're eight minutes out, and we'd like to come to the fuel dock first before going to our slip. Roger, we need the fuel dock. We'll go straight to the fuel dock. We're going to do a starboard side tie to the fuel dock. All right, 
728 gallons. That's the most I've ever put in a boat. $3,200. To get where we're going, unfortunately. Uh, normally, if you're cruising, I would not suggest doing 400 something miles at a time. It gets expensive. We left the fuel dock to go back into our slip. The marina staff were very helpful getting us tied up. Cheers. Well, we made it. Hmm. A little over eight hours. Eh, I was a little sporty for the first hour. After that, it was not bad, but. Yeah, it was pretty nice on the way. Over, once we got over here into the bay. Yeah. I mean, how many how many footsies would you say it was? Like, like yeah. after the rough. After the rough stuff, I was like four. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I went bad. Going, well. We're going down one anyway. Yeah, right? yeah, it went bad. Mm -hmm. The rough stuff was occasionally six, eight footers, but not eh, occasionally. But it was mostly five and six. Uh, but that was only for like forty-five minutes an hour. After getting all cleaned up, we decided to go check out some of the amenities and the restaurants at the marina. Not a bad place to spend a little time and watch the sunset. Goodbye, Becky! Hi. Goodbye, Becky! Go, go! He's met his match. Be cute again, Bobby. Dance with him. Dance with him. Oh, it's too late. No, dance with him. Oh. You're so camera shy, Bobby. Yeah, for a guy who's famous on YouTube, it's pretty camera shy. <laughs> She's drinking soy sauce. Why is everybody so crazy? I'm excited to announce the Cruising Life webinar that I filmed in front of a live audience a few weeks ago. It covers a little bit about the history of sailing doodles and then gives you all the information you need to go cruising, such as information about the cost, the types of boat, the different regions, cruising with pets, the social life. And I'm really excited to give viewers of the webinar the very first look at the new catamaran I'm buying. The webinar is only $20 and there is a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. Our patrons and channel members got early and ad-free access to this video. Thank you so much.